The patient set is comprised of the following items. First, the patient breathing tube, which is the large diameter corrugated tube. It connects to the MV20 here, at the marked outlet. Next, we have the two PVC tubes. The thicker tube is the Jackson Reese tube, which brings fresh air from the blender to the patient. It connects to the blender here. The thinner tube is the pressure monitor tube. It keeps monitoring the pressure at the proximal, activating alarms accordingly. Next, we have the wire piece connector, which includes a pressure valve set to pop up at 60 centimetre pressure to prevent patient injury in case of a kink in the patient circuit. Next, we have the flow sensor, which is attached to the proximal connector here. Then, we attach the flow sensor cable to the flow sensor, like this, and to the MV20 main unit here, at the other end of the flow sensor cable. There's a small white arrow to show the upward position for correct connection. Please be careful to use the flow sensor with the cable attachment upwards. If the condenser is positioned upside down and condensation forms, then condensation water may form a pool inside the sensor, which will affect the tidal volume measurement. The flow sensor measures the velocity of the patient's exhaled air to provide tidal volume information. Next, we attach the HME here. The HME captures moisture from the patient's exhaled breath. And finally, we can attach the HME to the test lung, like so.